Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to our graduation ceremony. I'm Stephen Blois, and I will be one of your MCs for the evening. Bonjour, mesdames et messieurs, et bienvenue à notre cérémonie de remise des diplômes. Je m'appelle Clem Di Stefano, et je serai votre maître de cérémonie pour cette soirée. Upper Canada District School Board is situated on traditional Anishinaabek and Haudenosaunee territories. With gratitude and respect, we acknowledge the significant contributions Indigenous peoples have and continue to make on these lands. This land has always been a place of learning, and today we continue that very strong tradition. Trustee Danaher brings greetings from the board. Greetings to all the 2021 Charlene District High School graduates. It is a wonderful accomplishment for each of you to earn your secondary school diploma. My name is John Danner and I'm the Upper Canada District School Board Trustee. I bring congratulations to the board to each of you on your accomplishments this evening. It has been a very difficult year for all of us as we journey through this pandemic. However, you have worked hard and successfully fulfilled the requirements for your Ontario Secondary School Diploma in spite of these obstacles. Please take some time to reflect on your high school experience and thank the family members, friends and school staff who were there for you and assisted you along your journey. Enjoy your celebration tonight. You certainly deserve it. Congratulations to all and the best of luck in your future endeavors. Thank you, Mr. Danaher. We now ask Superintendent Perry to bring greetings from the board. Hello everyone. Once again, we are gathering in a different way as we continue to follow the directions of our public health officials in order to stay safe. I know that this time has not been easy for you. For our second school year in a row, we have had interruptions to learning and have had to manage a great deal of uncertainty. I also know that this is not likely how you pictured your last year in this school. Last year, we used words like unprecedented and uncharted territory. We talked about physical distancing, we started wearing masks to attend school in person, and had to remain in our cohort groups while attending school. Some of our classmates were learning at home while others attended in person. No one could have possibly imagined how much our experience of education would change within such a short space of time. Yet here we are, and I'm very happy to be joining you to honor the class of 2021. Today, despite the ongoing challenges of the pandemic, it is about celebration. It is about recognizing the incredible work that you have done to get to this point in your lives. You have adapted to the new learning environments, learned how to do things very differently, connected with your teachers in new and innovative ways, and found ways to grow your experiences. Through this, you have done some incredible learning and have developed skills that will be called upon to help make this world a better place, a world of hope, vision, and purpose. You are the future, and every single person that has walked with you on your journey thus far knows the potential that you bring to shaping and changing the world into a place that values every human life and creates opportunity for all. On your behalf, I would like to thank all of the staff who have had a hand in supporting your growth and development through all of your years in school. I know that the past two years have been particularly challenging for them as they have had to learn to do so many new things in such different ways so very quickly. Thank you for modeling resilience and for caring so deeply for each of our students at a time when many of them were not directly with us each day. I hope that you are as proud of the work that you have done through this as we are proud of the students that we are celebrating today. To the parents and families that are joining us today to celebrate our students, thank you for entrusting them to us and for supporting them as they have worked towards this day. You have reason to be proud. To the class of 2021, as you take leave of this school for the final time, know that we are proud of you, care for you, and believe in your power to make positive changes in this world. We are looking to you to take the best of what you have learned, both in your head and in your heart, to create a better world where everyone has a voice, everyone is respected, and everyone has an opportunity to succeed. On behalf of the senior team of the Upper Canada District School Board, I offer a sincere congratulations to the class of 2021. Thank you, Superintendent Perry. Greetings come from Taylor McRae, the 
president of the Shirtland Parents Council. Good evening, everyone. My name is Tara McRae, and I am a co-chair of the Parent Council here at Charland. I come to you tonight with my sincerest congratulations for the graduating class of 2021 from all members of our Parent Council. We are so very impressed by you. What a year you have had. And despite all of the blips and bumps, you made the very best of it. Thank you for keeping up the traditions of Charlene, like St. Andrew's Day, Take Your Tractor to School Day, all the spirit days and fun days that you created. You were the glue that held this school together in a very difficult year. Congratulations. And now you take this resilience that you have shown and you take it with you as you leave and go out into the world, wherever that may be, back to school, into the workforce, college, university. We wish you all the best in everything that you continue to do with your life. We know you will make us proud. Congratulations again to the graduating class of 2021. Thank you. Next. Mr. Brownlee, our principal, will address the graduates, and then he and Vice Principal Kirby will present the diplomas. Good evening, graduates, families, and friends. What a year, a year like no other, and one to be remembered for a lifetime. Not just for all the things you missed out on, the experiences you didn't get to have with your classmates, and there were a lot, but more so for all the first-time experiences you had the skills you developed, and what you found out about yourself. This was the year of virtual. I'm sure it felt like a virtual reality show for many of you. A year filled with virtual learning experiences, virtual student council meetings, a virtual Remembrance Day ceremony, cahoots, virtual field trips, virtual guest speakers, virtual class challenges, a virtual Halloween activities, smile files, who will forget the smile files? Thank you, Miss Mines. Virtual college and university tours, virtual spirit days, karaoke, virtual carnival week, virtual academic achievement awards, and even our beloved St. Andrew's Day celebration was virtual. While many of your school experiences this year have been virtual in nature, the skills you have developed during this pandemic are real, and they will serve you well as you take the next step in your life's journey. This year and a half has forced you to become resilient to press on despite all the barriers that have been placed in front of you. I have watched, well mostly listened as many of you rarely turn on your cameras, support each other and your teachers through some challenging synchronous classes. Your kindness and care for each other grew increasingly evident as we navigated this crazy year. And you have adapted, adapted to the many pivots that we've all had to make this year. Perseverance, kindness and adaptability are real skills. Skills that you have honed during a virtual year. Skills that you will need as you navigate the challenges that life beyond high school will present you. You are ready. You are ready for your next chapter, whether it's the world of work, a trade school, college or university, you are ready. Be confident in your abilities and the skills you have built during your time here at Charland. Be confident that you have an entire school an entire community supporting you as you move on to fulfill your dreams. Be confident in you. You are a crusader. Thank you for allowing me to be part of your journey and this celebration. I will always be proud to say I was the principal of Charland District High School. Congratulations on your accomplishments and good luck in your future endeavors. Miss Kirby and I will now present the 2021 graduates. Alex Bailey. Alex will be completing a welding apprenticeship in Kansas. He is receiving the Bank of Montreal Award, which is awarded to the highest mark in grade 12 college mathematics, as well as the Edwards McDonald Scholarship, which is awarded to a graduating student with the highest mark in grade 12 college English. Lauren Campbell Tyrell. Lauren will be studying dental hygiene at Georgian College. Lauren is an Ontario scholar and she receives her health and wellness Chisholm diploma as well as her French certificate. She is also receiving the Bank of Montreal Award which is awarded to the highest mark in grade 12 college mathematics and the Cornwall Aviation Deserving Student Award which is awarded to three graduating students who will be going to college or university. Maya Carrier. Maya will be studying psychology at Western University. Maya is an Ontario scholar. She's receiving the Ross Scholarship 
which is awarded to the top five graduating students who have at least six grade 12 university credits attending post-secondary. And the Marie Weller Dean Bursary, which is awarded to a graduate going on to post-secondary education who is planning to pursue a degree in a Bachelor of Arts. Haven Sharon. Haven will be working next year, then attending St. Lawrence College for game devel development. Haven has earned his business certificate. He's also receiving the Student Success Bursary, which is awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. Coral Cook. Cora will be attending St. Lawrence College in the Personal Support Worker Program. Coral receives her Health and Wellness Schism Diploma. She's also receiving the Cast Populaire Award, which is awarded to a graduate pursuing post-secondary education, the Gary MacArthur Memorial Award, which is awarded to a graduate pursuing post-secondary studies or trade who has contributed to the school community through their involvement and who has also shown strength in athletics. She's also receiving an iLead certificate, and the iLead certificate is awarded to those students who have participated in iLead activities over their high school career. Andrew Durvin. Andrew will be studying farm management at McDonald College. He's receiving the Marlin Orchards and Garden Center Award, which is awarded to a graduating student who will be studying business or agriculture. Emma Dory. Emma will be attending St. Lawrence College for Youth and Child Care. Emma is an Ontario Scholar. She's receiving the Filio Awards Bursary, which is awarded to a deserving student going on to post-secondary school. Kaylee Duperon. Kaylee will be attending Elegance College for Aesthetics. She's receiving the Dorothy McGregor and John Allen Mitchell Prize, which is awarded annually to a graduating student pursuing post-secondary education in agriculture and or business and or the arts of expression. Umaya Eshwanani. Will be, Umaya will be taking the year off before going to university. Umaya is, a sec, is an Ontario scholar. She's receiving the Brian Edwardson Bright Light Memorial Award. The award recognizes innovativeness, creativity, and initiative. Emma Ehrenfeld. Emma will be attending St. Lawrence College for the Environmental Technician Program. Emma is an Ontario scholar and she receives her Agriculture sh Schism Diploma. She's also receiving the Charland Staff Scholarship, which is awarded to a student with the highest aggregate of six grade 12 university credits. The Glengarry News Award, which is awarded to a student who achieved the highest mark in grade 12 visual arts. The Margaret Elizabeth Murray Dean Scholarship, which is awarded for excellence in literature. The Martintown Horticultural Society Award, awarded to a student studying horticulture, agriculture, or environmental studies. The Mr. and Mrs. Ernest C. Ross Memorial Scholarship, awarded to the student achieving the highest mark in For You English. The Rhodes Grant English Bursary, awarded for the highest mark in For You English. A Ross Scholarship, awarded to the top five graduating students who have at least six grade 12 university credits planning to attend a post-secondary institution. The St. Andrews United, United Church Williamstown Award, awarded to a graduating student who contributed a great deal to the community while man maintaining good academic standing. And the William W.H. Dean Scholarship, awarded for excellence in science. Jonathan Elliott will be attending Carleton University in Cognitive Science. Jonathan is an Ontario Scholar and he has won the Patricia Bougie Award, which is awarded to a deserving graduate student. Daniel Flarell will be working towards his apprenticeship in plumbing. Danny receives his Agriculture Schism Diploma and he has earned his Technology Certificate. Danny has won the Adam McDonald Plumbing Award which is awarded to a student who will be pursuing a career in the trades. Nathaniel Forbes will be working at Long Graphics. Nathaniel is an Ontario Scholar and he has earned his French Immersion Certificate. He has won the Club Octagon Bursary, which is awarded to a deserving graduate student. Donovan Francis will be joining his father in the trade of landscaping. Donovan receives his Technology Certificate and he has won the Student Success Bursary, which is awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. David Hall will begin his apprenticeship in carpentry. David receives his technology certificate. 
and he has won the Student Success Bursary, which is awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. David Holtzman will be studying at Algonquin College in the Bachelor of Nursing program. David is an Ontario scholar and he received his French Immersion Certificate. And he has won the Club Optimist Cornwall Bursary, awarded to a deserving graduate. Ethan Howells will be joining the workforce. Ethan receives his Technology Certificate and he has won the Student Success Bursary, awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. Oliver Hughes will be joining his brother in business. Oliver receives his Agriculture Schism Diploma and he has won the Student Success Bursary, awarded to a student entering the workforce. Skyla Jesmer will be joining the workforce and she has won the Student Success Bursary, which is awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. James Kersley will be doing an electrical apprenticeship. James has earned his French Immersion Certificate and has won the Northwestern Museum Bursary. Award to a deserving graduate student who has the love of history. Abby Latre. Abby will be studying psychology at Ottawa University. Abby is an Ontario scholar and she receives her health and wellness schism diploma as well as her French Immersion Certificate. She'll be receiving the Edge Imaging Award, which is awarded to a deserving graduating student. Cole McCrimmon. Cole will be returning to Charlan. Cole is an Ontario scholar, and he receives his Health and Wellness Schism Diploma and his French Immersion Certificate. He is also receiving the Brian Filio Memorial Bursary, awarded to a male athlete who is planning to pursue post-secondary education and has demonstrated a willingness to support and promote the game of soccer throughout the community. The Trustees Award, A Character Always, presented to a student who persistently demonstrated a strong sense of caring and respect for all. Fiona McDonald. Fiona will be, at, will be at St. Lawrence College in Kingston taking a Bachelor of Nursing degree. Fiona is an Ontario scholar and she receives her Health and Wellness Schism Diploma as well as her French Immersion C Certificate. She's also receiving the Bilingualism Bursary awarded to a graduating student who has obtained the second highest average in the study of Canada's two official languages at the grade 12 level. The Charland District High School Heritage Committee Scholarship presented annually to a Charland student who plans to do post-secondary study and who during his or her high school years displayed an active interest in preserving the history and tradition of the Charland District High School community. Charland Minor Soccer Association Award awarded to two graduating students going to post-secondary education that were involved in Charland Minor Soccer. The Hugh Douglas Memorial Scholarship awarded to a student while studying science at university. The Margaret Elizabeth Murray Dean Scholarship, awarded for excellence in literature. The Julie McLaughlin Charity Foundation Bursary, awarded to a graduating student who best combines academic achievement, athletics, and school community involvement. The Marion McWinnie McNaughton Memorial Award, awarded in mem memory of Marion McWinnie McNaughton to each of the top two students going to university. The Mary Campbell Memor Memorial Scholarship, awarded to the graduating student with the highest mark in For You French as a second language. The Most Senior Rudy Villeneuve Foundation Bursary, awarded to a graduating student who is continuing in post-secondary education. The Principal's Award for Student Leadership, awarded to the graduate who the principal feels has contributed the most to the school in the area of student leadership. The Ron McCabe Award, awarded for the highest mark in Grade 12 French Immersion. The Ron McCabe Staff Citizenship Award, presented to the student voted by the staff to have been the best citizen. Ross Scholarship, awarded to the top five graduating students who have at least six Grade 12 University credits, planning to attend a post-secondary institution. The Rudy Paye Memorial Scholarship, awarded to a member of the senior soccer team who is continuing with post-secondary education. Stephen Richet Memorial Award, awarded in memory of Stephen Richet to the student with the highest mark in 4U Biology. The Valedictorian Award, presented to our Valedictorian. And the 2021 Ontario Winter Games Legacy Award, awarded to a graduating student in SDNG who is pursuing post-secondary studies and who has demonstrated athletic excellence and leadership in their community. Rowan McLennan. Rowan will be studying business administration at Sir Wilfrid Laurier. Rowan is an Ontario scholar and he has received his business certificate. 
He is receiving the Alexander Gordon Celtic Heritage Award, awarded to a high academic achiever who has demonstrated a love for his or her Glengarry roots and actively worked during their high school years to preserve the area's Scottish heritage through participation in school and community-related activities. Charland District High School Heritage Committee Scholarship presented annually to a Charland student who plans to do post-secondary study and who, during his or her ta- school years, displayed an active interest in preserving the history and tradition of the Charland District High School community. The Julie McLaughlin Charity Foundation Bursary, awarded to a graduating student who best combines academic achievement, athletics, and school community involvement. A Lloyd Rosone Memorial Bursary, Awarded in memory of Lloyd Rozo to a male graduate, the recipient must be furthering his studies in business or agriculture. The McDonnell and Barrett Scholarship, awarded for the highest average mark achieved in all three 4U maths. Hunter Matter. Hunter will be attending Lakeland College for agribusiness. Hunter receives his agriculture schism diploma and his technology certificate. Hunter is also receiving the Charland Minor Hockey Association Award, awarded to a student going on to post-secondary education who has maintained a dedication to the game of hockey and to the Charland Rebels Association. The Darren Pruner Martin LaRivier Memorial Award, awarded by the Township of South Glengarry in memory of Darren Pruner and Martin LaRivier to a deserving graduate. The Dr. Brian J. McNaughton Memorial Bursary, awarded in memory of Brian J. McNaughton, DVM, to a graduating student pursuing post-secondary studies in the field of veterinary, medicine, agriculture, or animal science. The Glengarry Federation of Agriculture Bursary, awarded to a deserving graduate pursuing their post-secondary education in agriculture. And a Lloyd Rozo Memorial Bursary, awarded in memory of Lloyd Rozo to a male graduate. The recipient must be furthering his studies in business or agriculture. Gavin McDonald. Gavin will be studying at McDonald College in the Farm Management Program. Gavin receives his Agriculture Schism Diploma and his Technology Certificate. He's also receiving the Dr. Brian J. McNaughton Memorial Bursary, which is awarded in memory of Brian J. McNaughton, DVM, to a graduating student pursuing post-secondary studies in the field of veterinary medicine, agriculture, or animal science. The Glengarry Federation of Agricultural Bursary, awarded to a deserving graduate student pursuing their post-secondary education in agriculture. Williamstown Green Thumb Horticultural Society Prize, awarded to a graduating student continuing their education in the field of agriculture, horticulture, or environmental studies. Kean McDonnell. Kean will be studying political science at Ottawa University. Kean is an Ontario scholar, and he has received his business certificate as well as his French immersion certificate. He also receives the Eric Duncan Member of Parliament Bursary, awarded to a student continuing his or her studies in the field of political science, public administration, international development studies, or social sciences. He's also receiving the Rhodes Grant History Bursary, which is awarded for the highest mark in 4U history or politics. Austin McGilvery. Austin will be joining the workforce. Austin receives his Agriculture Schism Diploma. He's also receiving the Student Success Bursary. He's awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. Georgia McLeod. Georgia will be studying Health Science at Queen's University. Georgia is an Ontario Scholar and she receives her Health and Wellness Schism Diploma as well as her French Immersion Certificate. She's also receiving the Benton Financial Award, which is awarded to the students with the highest mark in for you calculus and vectors. The Bilingualism Bursary, set up by the Society for the Promotion of Bilingualism, is awarded to a graduating student who has obtained the highest average in the study of Canada's two official languages at the grade 12 level. The Brian Filio Memorial Bursary, Awarded to a female athlete who is planning to pursue post-secondary education and has demonstrated a willingness to support and promote the game of soccer throughout the community. The Charland Williamstown Reunion 1978 Scholarship. Awarded to the student with the highest aggregate of six grade 12 university credits. Charland Minor Soccer Association Award. Awarded to a graduate who is going on to post-secondary education that was involved in the Charland Minor Soccer.
Charland District High School Heritage Committee Scholarship presented annually, annually to a Charland student who plans to do post-secondary study and who, during his or her high school years, displayed an active interest in preserving the history and tradition of the Charland District High School community. Kublaka STEM Award, awarded to a female graduate, graduate who will be pursuing studies in STEM. The Margaret Elizabeth Murray Dean Scholarship, awarded for excellence in literature. The Marion McWinnie McNaughton Memorial Award, awarded in memory of Marion McWinnie McNaughton to each of the top two students going to university. The Lancaster Masonic Lodge No. 207 Annual Bursary, awarded for the highest mark in grade 12 university level advanced functions. The Matthew Crothers Memorial Scholarship, awarded in memory of Matthew Crothers to a deserving graduate. The Mr. and Mrs. Ernest C. Ross Memorial Scholarship, awarded to the student achieving the highest mark in 4U English. The Monroe Agrimart Award, awarded to the student with the highest mark in grade 12 university chemistry. The Rhodes Grant English Bursary, awarded for the highest mark in 4U English. And finally, the Ross Scholarship, awarded to the top five graduating students who have at least six grade 12 university credits planning to attend post-secondary institution. Haley Murray. Haley will be studying aesthetics at Algonquin College. She's receiving the Roxboro Bus Lines Limited Award, awarded to a graduate who is pursuing post-secondary education. Meadow Barry Chella will be studying advanced pre-health science at Algonquin College. Meadow is an Ontario scholar and she receives her health and wellness schism diploma. She has been awarded the Bank of Montreal Award, awarded for the highest mark in grade 12 college mathematics, and Cornwall Aviation Deserving Student Award, award to three graduating students who will be going on to college university. Seamus O'Connell will be studying health science at Ottawa University. Seamus is an Ontario scholar and he receives his health and wellness schism diploma as well as his French immersion certificate. Seamus has won seven awards. Charland Minor Hockey Association Award, award to a student going on to post-secondary education who has maintained a dedication to the game of hockey and to the Charland Rebels Association. The Jennifer Vallad Memorial Award, awarded in memory of Jennifer Vallad to a graduating student going on to post-secondary education. This graduate has enhanced school spirit at Charland through his good sense of humor and keen participation in school activities. Jim McDonnell, member of Par Provincial Parliament Bursary, award to a student who will be studying engineering, math, or science. Most senior Rudy Vilna Foundation Bursary, awarded to two graduating students who are continuing in post-education. Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation District 26 Scholarship, award to a graduating student who will be doing post-secondary education studies and who has shown involvement and leadership in the school community. Rudy Payer Memorial Scholarship, award to a member of the senior soccer team who is continuing with post-secondary education. William W. H. Dean Scholarship, awarded for excellence in science. Aidan Pila will be doing a welding apprenticeship. Aidan receives his technology certificate. He has been awarded Anna McDonald Scholarship, awarded to a graduating co-op student who has an exemplary ambassador in the workplace, and the Charlan Williamstown Reunion 1978 Technical Prize, awarded to the top technical graduate. Brylin Poirier will be studying welding and fabrication at St. Lawrence College. Brylin is an Ontario scholar and she receives her health and wellness schism diploma. She has been awarded the Mark W. Wilson Memorial Award, awarded to a deserving graduate who will be attending St. Lawrence College in Cornwall, and the Rodney Howes Bursary, awarded to a deserving graduate student who will be pursuing a career in heavy equipment or welding. Owen Robertson will be attending Lambton Fire College. Owen receives his Health and Wellness Schism Diploma. Owen has been awarded the Lori McDonnell Memorial Award, which is awarded in memory of Lori McDonnell to a graduating student through enthusiasm, sense of humor, and positive outlook contribute to improving the quality of student life at Charlan. Seth Rohrbeck will be attending St. Lawrence College for health and fitness promotion. Seth has earned his business certificate. He has been awarded the Mark W. Wilson Memorial Award which is awarded to a deserving graduate who will be attending St. Lawrence College in Cornwall. Jordan Rulo will be joining the workforce. 
Jordan has earned his business certificate. He has been awarded the Edwards McDonald Scholarship, awarded to a graduating student with the highest mark in grade 12 college English, and the Ewan Ross Memorial Scholarship, awarded to a graduate who is an outstanding history student. Hannah Michelle Sampson will be studying at St. Francis Xavier University in the Bachelor of Arts in Sociology. Hannah Michelle is an Ontario scholar and Hannah receives her Health and Wellness Schism Diploma as well as her French Immersion Certificate. Hannah has been awarded five awards. Charlene District High School Student Council Award, awarded to a deserving graduate who actively participated in student council activities. Monroe and Morris Funeral Homes Bursary, awarded to a graduating student who has contributed a great deal to Charlene's OSAID. Ontario Secondary School Teachers Federation, District 26 Scholarship, awarded to a graduating student who will be doing post-secondary studies and who has shown involvement and leadership in the school community. Principal's Award for Student Leadership, awarded to the graduate who the principal feels has contributed the most to the school in the area of student leadership. Reverend A. L. McDonald Award, awarded to a deserving graduate who dis demonstrated leadership qualities and kindness. McKenna Samard will be returning to Charlene District High School. She has won the Deserving Student Award, awarded to a student who showed positivity and brightened everyone's day. Colby Spazek will be attending Trent University in the Computing Systems Honor Science Program. Colby is an Ontario scholar and he has earned his business certificate. Colby has won 10 awards. Joan Byington Grant Award, Award to a student who has excelled in debating. Lieutenant Governor's Community Volunteer Award. A pin awarded for exemplary community contribution or astounding achievement through volunteer activities. Patricia Bougie Award. Awarded to two deserving graduating students. Paul Serdic Award. Award to the student achieving the highest mark in grade 12 law. Ross Scholarship. Award to top five graduating students who have at least six grade 12 university, university credits planning to attend a post-secondary institution. Rotary Club of Cornwall Bursary, presented to the graduating student who exemplifies the Rotary motto, Service Above Self. Ruth D. Moat Community Service Award, Awarded to a graduating student who has demonstrated a strong sense of community, either in school or with their own community outside of school. Township of South Glengarry Award. Awarded for the highest mark in grade 12 business. Yearbook Award. Presented to a graduating student who has an active role in producing the yearbook. Wilfred and Daphne McDonald Scholarship. Award to the student with the highest mark in four youth writer's craft or studies in literature. Curtis St. Ange. Curtis will be attending St. Lawrence College to study welding and fabrication. Curtis receives his agriculture schism. He's also receiving the Rodney Howes bursary awarded to a deserving graduating student who will be pursuing a career in heavy equipment or welding. The Williamstown Bicentennial 1984 award awarded to each of two graduating students going to college. Caitlin Stevens. Caitlin will be attending Loyalist College in the Social Service Worker Program. Caitlin is an Ontario Scholar. She's receiving the Ghani van der Neuwegeesen Peer Helper Award, presented to a graduating student who went out of their way to be helpful, kind, and supportive of their peers. The Pamia Jewelers Award, as a gift presented to a graduate planning to do post-secondary studies. Chloe Tyone. Chloe will be joining the workforce and plans on opening a bakery in the future. She's receiving the Student Success Bursary, which is awarded to students who will be entering the workforce. Sam Tyrell. Sam will be studying fitness and health promotion at St. Lawrence College in Kingston. He's receiving the Martintown Masonic Lodge Award, which is awarded to a graduate from the Martintown area who will be pursuing post-secondary studies or training. St. Lawrence College Board of Governors Scholarship, awarded to a deserving student who will be at any one of St. Lawrence College's three campuses. Benjamin Vandersh. Ben will be studying nautical science at the Canadian Coast Guard College. Ben is an Ontario scholar and he receives agriculture schism as well as his French immersion certificate. 
He's also receiving the Ken Johns Award, which is awarded to a deserving student intending to continue their studies at college or university. The Charland District High School Applied Science Award, which is awarded to a student going to university to study science or engineering. And the Victoria Award, which is awarded to a student who is a good all-around learner and enjoys learning on their own and going beyond the curriculum. Tyler Waldorf. Tyler is receiving the, the Deserving Student Award to a graduating student who has courteous and polite during his time at Charland District High School. Leah Wallace. Leah will be studying biomedical science at Ottawa University. Leah is an Ontario scholar and she receives her health and wellness schism. She's receiving the Canadian Federation of University Women Scholarship awarded annually to a female graduate going to a Canadian university and the Kublaka STEM Award awarded to a female graduate who will be pursuing studies in STEM. Stephen Whiteman. Stephen will be joining the workforce. He is receiving a student success bursary, which is awarded to a student who will be entering the workforce. Our final three presentations this evening are the Bronze Medal, Silver Medal, and Governor General's Academic Medal. The Bronze Medal for Proficiency is awarded to the student with the third highest average in their grade 11 and 12 courses. The 2021 recipient is Fiona McDonald. The silver medal for proficiency is awarded to the student with the second highest average in their grade 11 and 12 courses, and the 2021 recipient is Georgia McLeod. And finally, the Governor General's Academic Medal. This medal is awarded to the student with the highest average in their grade 11 and 12 courses, and this year's recipient is Emma Ehrenfeld. Congratulations, Emma, Georgia, and Fiona on a great work in grade 11 and 12. That concludes the presentation portion of our graduation. I want to congratulate all the graduates on a job well done, the hard work and perseverance they've shown over their four years at Charland District High School. I wish them all the best. Good luck. You will be successful in whatever you choose to do. We will now invite our valedictorian, Fiona McDonald, to speak on behalf of the Class of 2021. We made it. Can you believe that we're graduating? This may not be the way we pictured it, but I'm grateful we still have this chance to celebrate our accomplishments, even if it's virtually. High school has gone by in the blink of an eye, and despite the challenges of the last 15 months, our perseverance, resilience, and determination have helped us to get to this very special day. Welcome all teachers, happy parents, supporting grandparents, and other family and friends, and of course, Crusader graduates. Thank you for attending the Charland 2021 virtual graduation. I'm very honored to have this opportunity to speak on behalf of my amazing class about our high school journey. During the next few minutes, I would like to talk about what we have learned, the memories we have made, and the people we have, made, we have to thank for preparing us for our journey ahead. My fellow Crusaders, over the last four years, we have learned a lot here at Charlene. Of course, our teachers tried their best to provide us with the curriculum knowledge we will need in order to succeed, but they did much more than that. For example, Ms. Armstrong taught us how to conjugate so many French verbs, maybe too many, including all the special Dr. and Mrs. Vandertramp verbs. She also encouraged us to be hardworking students and competitive ones through her often loud Kahoot games and intense gym classes, especially when we played volleyball. Ms. Grant helped us to learn about the qualities of good leaders, the importance of helping our school community by taking part in activities such as our winter food drive. She modeled kindness every day and never lost her cool, even when there were some questionable posters made in link class, Stephen. It always amazed me how Miss Moffat could answer any math or physics problem we asked her. Learning to collaborate and work out our thinking on the whiteboards was a key part of our math class and definitely helped for our weekly Tuesday grade 12 functions tests. From Mr. Kevin O'Farrell in his biology class, 
We take away more than the ways ATP is generated and consumed in the way too complicated cellular respiration. But also, the two life lessons he shared with us on multiple occasions, which are of course, to always bring an extra pair of socks and to choose your life partners carefully. Miss Dennis's classroom was always filled with laughs, labs, and lots of hard work. We learned more than just organic chemistry, even though that unit seemed like it lasted forever, we learned the importance of good study habits. Miss McNeil's English class always had giggles that could be heard from down the hall, and lots of talk about purgatory. The only shop class I took was a grade nine mandatory credit with Mr. McDonnell. Surprisingly, I love that class. We made mousetrap cars and raced them down the hall, pen holders, which we had to weld to assemble, and wooden clocks. Seeing the awesome surfboard that Owen Robertson made, I know I definitely missed out on grade 11 and 12 shop. Last, but of course not least, Mr. DeStefano. Teaching gym online had its challenges, but you managed to make it fun. As a coach, you were always patient, supportive, and positive. I know you will definitely be missed next year at Sherland. In addition to what we have learned from our teachers, we will take with us many fond memories of our high school experience. Some of us have been together since kindergarten and others have joined us along the way, but no matter what, we are united as crusaders and have grown during our experience at Sherland. From our annual Terry Fox Run holiday trivia, spirit days and clan days, there were plenty of good times. The most memorable of all was our course, of course, St. Andrew's Day and celebrating our heritage with Highland dancing, haggis eating, tug of war, and of course, two stepping. <laughs> In particular, who can forget our grade 10 civics class where we learned the amazing public speaking skills of James Kersley. Also, the time all the boys painted their chests to cheer on our senior girls basketball team to win against CCVS. But how could we get all of our other basketball stars? For example, Cole making his half court shot against Heritage, Curtis playing basketball at lunch with his broken tibia, and of course, Sam always swishing his half court shots. There are so many memories that will still always stick around in our minds too, such as the annoying glitches of O Canada, and of course, our COVID screenings every morning. <laughs> Even though we were faced with many challenges and changes as a result of the pandemic, we persevered through it all and have many memories of the last four years. Next, I would like to take a few minutes on behalf of our graduating class to thank all of the people who have helped us to get to this day. Of course, Mr. Brownlee and Ms. Kirby for always supporting us, particularly through the last 15 months. To all of our teachers over the years, thank you for sharing your knowledge with us. Thank you to our families and loved ones. I know some of us have been a little difficult at times, Danny, but Thanks for your patience and guidance. Of course, I can't forget to thank Sharon McLaughlin and Sean O'Farrell for always being there to answer our questions and to everyone who has helped us to organize the Crusader Cruise in this virtual graduation. I know there are too many to name. We are so grateful for your hard work. So now we are high school graduates. We have overcome the challenges that no other graduating class has experienced. We should be so proud of what we have overcome and with our perseverance and what we have accomplished by supporting each other. Some might say that we were robbed of the best part of our high school years, but it's not about what we have lost. It's about what we have gained, the lessons we have learned and memories that we have made that will bind us together forever. Our Crusader family will live on in our hearts no matter where the future takes us. Finally, whether you're heading off to university, college or the workforce, or taking more time to decide on your path, have fun and enjoy your next chapter. Congratulations, Crusader Class of 2021. Woohoo! Thank you, Fiona. This concludes our graduation ceremony tonight. Thank you to Marlin Orchards and Garden Center for lending us the shrubs that we used for the Crusader Cruise. Thank you to all the staff who helped with the setup of this for this very special occasion. And last but not least, congratulations, Crusaders. You made it, and we wish every one of you the best in your future endeavors. Peace out. 
Peace out, Mr. D. Thank you for the many years serving as the master ceremonies for our grade 12 Crusader graduations. On behalf of the graduates and school community, we wish you well as you head off into retirement. Thank you for your years of service at Charlotte.